and two days today and I have a lot to update on since I missed last week but it was a super busy week because it was Lilia's birthday Lilia's dance recital there was just a lot going on and there wasn't much to update on so I was like I'll just hold off on another week so I apologize but here I am the first thing is my anatomy scan was rescheduled I had talked about how it was scheduled for July 6th the place that I go to where I have to get my ultrasound pictures I always plan my ultrasounds for like in the evening I think that day was it was scheduled for 450 and she called me and said that the tech that day had to leave early and so she asked if we could reschedule so we went ahead and rescheduled it and it happened to work out to where we actually got it earlier so I wasn't gonna object to that so we had our ultrasound yesterday for our anatomy scan everything looked absolutely perfect he said the brains growing great two kidneys two hands two legs all that good stuff I was measuring pretty much exactly to how far along I was like some of the parts were measuring to be like 20 weeks and three days some of the parts were measuring to be like 19 weeks and six days so overall the baby was measuring to be pretty much exactly where I'm supposed to be and then the tech did say that it did not have a really big head so that was like good news for me it was like a perfectly like average size head it wasn't like super big because like Landon's head was really big and on top of that he was born like this so <laughs> I was grateful to hear that but I am only 20 weeks I can change. I will show you guys the pictures. I'm gonna wait on that though. I'm gonna talk about a little bit of my symptoms this week. I have had a significant increase in my appetite. I think I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but I eat everything now and now I'll just be like hungry all day long and I'll be like snacking all day long. So I'm trying to like limit what I eat, not necessarily limit, but like try to choose healthier options because I don't want to gain like 300 pounds this pregnancy. So I've been really like conscious about what I'm eating, but definitely trying to make sure that I eat when I am hungry. My body tells me that I'm hungry. I have been monitoring my weight and at this point I have gained four pounds. So I did gain two pounds in the last two weeks. And overall I feel pretty good about where I am. I feel like I look healthy. The baby's growing perfectly obviously. So other than that, my boobs have been really sore this week. And this is the first time that I have had sore breasts at all through this pregnancy that I can remember anyway. When I found out I was pregnant with all of my kids in the beginning, I don't remember really having sore breasts. So that's not like a huge thing for me. So whenever they are sore, it's like really uncomfortable because it's not like, I don't know, I guess it's always uncomfortable no matter if you're used to it or not. And they've definitely been growing. I feel like they've grown like a whole cup size since I got pregnant. <laughs> One other symptom that I've been having is I cannot sleep and it's not like I fall asleep and then I'm like uncomfortable like I literally just can't fall asleep it's like insomnia like I'll be up till 1 30 in the morning every single day and I just can't fall asleep I just cannot fall asleep until my eyes are literally like drooping then I can finally force myself to doze off but before that I just really have been having a lot of trouble like falling asleep not necessarily staying asleep but just falling asleep so that is all that I can really think of at the top of my head. I know that a lot of you guys might be disappointed that this is the video that showed up in your feed right now, but I promise you that the name video is coming right after this video today, probably more like tonight-ish. And like I said, I do have one boy name picked out and one girl name picked out. I just need to finish editing that and it will be up shortly. And then once it's posted, I will post a link down below. So if you're just watching this video and you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check below, see if it's already posted. So back to the ultrasound, I posted a bunch of the pictures on Instagram and on Facebook and people were going like absolutely crazy on there. I was so, so, so nervous going into that ultrasound appointment because I just really didn't want to see something that I didn't want to see because as you guys know I really 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 want this baby's gender to be a surprise so he was super super sweet about it he offered to even turn the screen off at times so throughout the whole scan he was super careful about like where he was at but he still had to get like certain measurements he had to like look at the, the umbilical cord and then he had to measure um, like the femur bone is that the right bone in your leg, like in your thigh? So once you get in that area, it's kind of sketchy. And he did offer to turn the screen off for that part. So that was super sweet. He gave us a USB of all of the pictures that he took throughout the scan. And then on top of that, um, he added like three little snippets of videos. And I posted those on Instagram. People were like, oh no, he ruined the surprise for you. You can see in seven seconds what the gender is. And I just want to say that he was very, very good at pointing out like when he was doing the whole ultrasound there were several times throughout the ultrasound where I was like Ugh, I feel like I just saw something like that was clearly a penis or like that was clearly like a little hamburger looking thing every time I saw something he was really good about like right immediately after he was like don't worry 
worry, you didn't see anything, that was this or that was that. And it made me really realize that I can't read ultrasounds as good as I thought I could. Like, I thought that there was going to be, like, no way that I was going to not see the gender. Like, I thought that I was going to go in and be like, boom. That's what you're having. That's why I was so like nervous about going into it because I want to see the baby. I want to see it kicking and stretching. There's like this video of it stretching that I posted on Instagram. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out on there. But it was just super, super, super freaking cute. And he was really good about being like, don't worry. This isn't, that's not what you're seeing. This isn't what you're seeing. So he did a really great job. There are people who saw those pictures and saw those videos and they're like, don't you worry, Jessica, I don't even want to know when the baby's born because I already know what it is. I could see it seven seconds, it did this and this and that. On one of the videos, people are swearing up and down, it's a boy. And on one of the other videos, people are swearing up and down, it's a girl. And I just want to say, the surprise is not ruined for us. There are no parts shown in any of the videos, any of the pictures. However, I do think it's super fun to guess. And I don't mind people being like, oh, I think it's a girl, oh, I think it's a boy. I think it's fun. I have no problem with people saying what they think it is, but I do want to say that there is nothing shown on the pictures, nothing shown on the videos. I watched the whole ultrasound, and I promise you, you cannot see anything. <laughs> so the surprise was definitely not ruined. And I actually felt like because I kept thinking that I saw a boy and then saw a girl and then saw a boy and then saw a girl, when I left that ultrasound, it made me really realize that I really don't know what I'm having. It's just such a weird feeling to go into the ultrasound knowing that you can full force see what you're having if you wanted to, but leaving still not knowing. And so it was just a really weird feeling and I'm just really, really super happy with how it turned out. It was just such a good feeling to be able to like fully watch the ultrasound and feel very 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 confident that it the surprise wasn't ruined for us i think chris especially was really trying to look he was like really like come on give me something but the tech was really like i said really really good and he's been doing this for like 30 years or something so i was confident that he would be able to like not accidentally reveal it he definitely did a good job so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the pictures that we did get and i just gotta say for being a little 20 week thing, like it is so freaking cute. And I know that everybody says this about all their kids. And usually I think these pictures, they mostly just look like potatoes. And I still feel like it really does. He or she is just like the cutest little thing. And I say that about all my kids in the ultrasound because it's true. They're all freaking adorable. Okay, right, how can I do this without getting a glare on here? Let me see. So this is the 3D picture that we got. And on Instagram, you can see the video where it's like stretching and rubbing its eyes. And then this here is the umbilical cord here. So a lot of people are like, oh, I see a ball sack. That's not a ball sack. So you could just see the sweet little face. And I just think it's the most adorable thing. And then here's another close up one of the baby. You can really see the nose, the eyes, and that's the little arm and the little ear right there. Then there's this one, and this this little profile, oh my god, it just kills me. And people were pointing out that it looks a lot like Landon's ultrasound. And I personally see a lot of Landon and Caden. The thing is, look at, if you look at the chin, and again, on Instagram and Facebook, I posted um, a comparison picture between all of my kids' profile pictures. And for one, you can see the technology over the years and like how it's grown, because Lilia's picture is like, really blurry. But you can really tell like what features the baby has in the chin. For sure, if you look at Caden's chin, it definitely looks like it has Caden's chin. And that's a trait from my family. If you can see my profile, my chin is very like definitive. I call it a butt chin. So there is his or her sweet little profile. And then there is another one of just the super sweet little profile there. And another one. And another one. The last like four are all pretty similar but it was just super cute and I love that he gave us the videos too so we could see on there he gave us like a little USB drive and we could see the videos but overall I'm just very very happy with the way that it turned out and I'm so just like seeing the pictures I don't know it just makes it real like seeing the little baby move around not that I didn't feel like it was real already because I did I just can't explain it I'm just really super excited about finally getting to meet him or her. I think that is actually it for this video, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 20 week belly. So here is with the shirt on. I definitely look like a normal pregnant lady now. Pregnant and not so much chunky anymore. And then here's with the shirt up. These pants fit really weird because they're still like super loose or these shorts do. So sorry for like the awkward positioning on there. 
I do not remember what I was the last time that I measured, so I apologize. It looks like I'm at just about 37 and a half. There was one other thing that I was gonna talk about that I just forgot. Oh, the baby movement. I can officially like see the baby move, like on the outside. I can feel it, see it. I could have other people put their hand on it and it does these like little jumps and I've tried to catch on camera, but every time I turn the camera on, what happens, of course, they stop moving. But I think that is pretty much it for this video, guys. And I hope you were excited about the name reveal. We are super excited to share the names that we have picked out with you guys so look out for the name reveal video and make sure you follow me on facebook and instagram for more frequent updates and i will talk to you guys for my next video bye literally i feel like i've doubled in size i feel like a completely different person this size from head to bottom